Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chase here, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how I screen cap or how I stream my games on the Mac Pro using Wirecast 5. A lot of you have asked me and have sent me messages via Twitter or Facebook or even on my Twitch channel. Chase, how do you get nice, crisp, beautiful gameplay on your Mac? Now, I know... There are lots of solutions available on the PC side of things, and yeah, I, even I use them. I will go ahead and use Boot Camp and go to the other side and do that sort of thing. However, uh, sometimes I just can't because I'm using other programs, and I really love using Wirecast and that delicious X264 codec. So this is a brief screencasting tutorial to show you how you can do the same thing. Now, I understand not everybody has the same system specs, and your mileage may vary, and uh, but I will try to break it down as much as possible. So first, you need Wirecast 5, and this this wire, new version of Wirecast allows you to do that 60 FPS or 60 frames per second. That is what is coming out of your you know your game system and even your computer. Now I know some people run lar high, higher resolutions, and sometimes they run lower resolutions as far as frame rate. But most games run at a very delicious. 60 frames per second. So I'm going to show you guys what I do to capture 720p, that's high definition, at 60 frames per second. So on the Mac Pro here, and I have a, a late 2012 Mac Pro, the, the, the tower, so, you know, this big, nice silver one, and I'm using an Intensity Pro, a Blackmagic Intensity Pro card, which can do 720p at 60 frames. So first thing you need to do is set up and make sure Wirecast is ready ready to go. And you need to make sure that Wirecast is in 60 FPS mode. And there's an easy way to do it. What you do is you go up to the menu here, click on Wirecast, go down to Preferences, and under the Performance tab right here, you want to make sure your display rate is set to 60 FPS. Now, usually by default, it's set to 30. Now, if you're in a PAL country, like you know in Europe, you would probably go to 50 FPS or 25 if you're doing 30. But I'm in the U.S. and TSC standard. I'm going to do 60 FPS, all right? There's really not much else you, you have to really mess around here with. Now, you can go into advanced. You want to make sure high-quality video is checked, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to mess with anything else. I'm Like I said, this is going to be really, really clean and really, really basic, all right? So once you have that set up, now you want to make sure your source is ready to go. Your source meaning your gameplay. And what I like to do is I go into Sources and then go down to Show Source Settings. Here this brings up all your different sources that you have uh, hooked up into your system, all your system devices and capture cards if you're running any desktop presenters, that sort of thing. Now my I'm running, yes, I am running three Intensity Pro cards. If you go to the first Intensity Pro card, that's the one that I have my gameplay running into. Uh, as you can see, uh, it gives me a preview of what's going on. As you can see, this is some Battlefield 4, Gulf of Oman, and it looks great. Uh, your video format uh, needs to match. This is the key with Black Magic cards. It has to match what's coming in. If it doesn't match, it won't work. So you do is you're going to select your format. Mine's HD720, P60. If your PAL is probably going to be 720p, 50, remember, it has to match. Now, I do know that if you're trying to capture gameplay, say, for example, from the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, you usually have to go 59.94. But for the sake of this, simple, clean uh, introduction, all you got to do is do that. So once you have that ready to go, the second thing you need to do is make sure your streaming settings are are appropriate. Now I use Twitch. That is what I use to stream. Now I know there's some other providers out here, uh, but here is here's what they say the secret thought. So first you're going to go into your output settings. And here is where you set up and configure where you're going to stream to. All right. Uh, now by default, uh, this asks you where you want to, uh, this little window pops up here, select your output destination. Uh, and then what you would do is you would select Twitch TV. And that's what I've done here. And I've created a, a, a preset for 720p60 because by default, by default, it does not do that. It doesn't uh, have one. It does have other settings here, 1080p30 for Twitch, 
uh, 720p 30, but it doesn't have one for 720p 60. So uh, here's what it looks like. And let me uh, bring down the uh, encoder preset here so you can take a look at it. So I'm using the X264 encoder. You have three selections. X264 will be best for you. Uh, the width and height are 1280 by 720. My frames per second is 60. My bit rate is 3,500 kilobits a second. Now remember, you're going to want to check your upload bandwidth. You want to check how much you can stream, okay? Um, now, I'm very lucky where I live. I have fiber internet, so I can afford a higher bit rate. But if you can't, uh, make sure you do uh, go to testmy.net. Testmy.net. Go there and check your speeds. I don't like using speedtest.net because sometimes you don't get a really accurate reading. Once you've set these parameters up and then your quality. Now, you might want to uh, tinker around with this. This is just depending on your system, of course. Now, I'm using an av uh, the, the three setting here. You could probably go four, five, even higher if you wish, depending on the kind of system that you're running. Uh, command line options. Now, these uh, I brought over from the 30 preset, and these are what set Wirecast to send a constant bit rate to Twitch. Constant bit rate, they love that. It's very, very important to them. Uh, that's how you get your, your gameplay a nice, smooth, buttery, consistent look. You want to use a main profile. Your keyframe is going to be 120 frames or two frames per second. And remember, since we're doing 60 frames per second, you're basically doubling that. So if you're doing 30 frames a second, your keyframe is going to be 60. Uh, your audio encode, uh, this is your prerogative, of course. If you can bring, give them a high-quality audio, remember this goes on top of your bitrate. So you know, stereo mono, and then you can set up your bitrate. I just went for a standard 128. Really, this is web. You don't need to get any higher than that. Then save it. Once you're all done and you have this ready to go, and I'll just go ahead and cancel because I already have the saves in here, then you're pretty much ready to broadcast. Now, uh, like I said, this is a really, really bare-bones operation I wanted to show you guys without getting too advanced. Uh, but I just go ahead and add a shot. Uh, I click this little uh, movie icon here, and I'm just going to add in the Intensity Pro one shot. Remember, we already set that up. And now you can see the little, uh, it fills it in, and I'll bring it into the preview. And now there's the gameplay. Um, if you send it over to live, which you hit this little go button, this is now sent over here. And when I'm when I'm ready, I can just go ahead and hit stream. Now, it's not going to stream because I didn't authenticate and set that up. But really, as you could see here, it's nice and clean in the preview. And if you have a the CPU power, and if you have the bandwidth it's not very hard to uh, to stream on the mac in 720p 60 frames gameplay and this works uh, obviously with uh, you know consoles i've actually hooked up you know component consoles composite consoles old school consoles some of that stuff you don't need to do at at 60 frames because it's just overkill but for a game like battlefield very very important so if you like this uh, tutorial, like this screencast, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up below on the video. Subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them below. And I will uh, follow up with you guys. And if you guys want to see more of these tips and tricks about Wirecast, game streaming, and more, please let me know. When you uh, hit that thumbs up button, that tells me that you like this stuff. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, you guys, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.